everybody out there in YouTube land. It's George from the Elvis Final Guy channel. And forgive me, but I'm just doing this on the fly. Once I get through this month, everything will be kind of like on track. So every every week, basically, I'm going to do a $30 Thursday and a $45 Friday, which you've all seen. And the last week of the month, I'm just going to do it on Friday and just do a top five of both. So uh, I'll just get it started with $30 Thursday, my top five picks. And, uh, you know, let's let's make this interesting. Um, you guys have seen what I picked up. So if you want to go back through and just refresh the other videos, I don't know. Or if you already have it in your head, let me know what you think my top five should have been. Or if I pretty much got it right on. Uh, but this is basically just my my assessment of the top five. So um, I'll start with $30 Thursday. Number five is going to have to be my Blue Moon by the Marcells 1979 reissue on Emus Records. Because it's in the shrink and it's so beautiful. It plays great. It sounds great. Um, yeah, definitely number five. Number four, I went with my k Tales Jan and Dean story. I love uh, surf music. I love the Beach Boys. I didn't get any good Beach Boys stuff in the $30 Thursday, though. But uh, And you know I'm a sucker for k Tell. Now, this is on... Um, Imperial House Records, but it's a, a KTEL release. And once again, these KTEL releases, when they're, uh, I mean, all KTEL releases to me sound great, but when they're the artist series like this, and they just sound amazing. I mean, no better quality for these guys than this KTEL release, in my opinion. Number three, I'd have to go with Fabian's Hold That Tiger. It's his first album, and I'm all about the 50s teen idols. And this is on the Pink Chancellor, which is just a great label to begin with. And you can't argue with that cover, and it was such a great price. So it definitely had to be in my top five for my pickups, you know. But uh, I listened to it, and it's really cool. I mean, I can see why he didn't make it as an entertainer. Um, he's probably a better actor than a singer, but it's still, you know, pretty nostalgic. It's definitely 50s teen idol music, you know. It's not as good as Ricky Nelson or Elvis or any of them, but he still did a decent job. It's just good to have it in my collection. It's in great shape. Number four had to be my German Decca, Tom Jones' Greatest Hits. I haven't stopped playing this since I got it. And this German red label Decca is just beautiful. It sounds amazing. And I just love every minute of this record. It was really hard to put this number two spot. Or, yeah, number two spot, sorry. Did I say number four? I meant number two. And uh, number one was Tommy Sands, Sandstorm. This album is just absolutely wonderful. It's on the Rainbow Capital label, original. Um, it's got an angel stereo inner sleeve, but it's uh, static free, beautiful vinyl. Sounds great. Great song selection. One of my favorite albums in my collection period. Uh, I've really gotten into Tommy Sands lately. And, um, you know, he's he ranks right up there with Bobby Darren. Uh, but this, this album is amazing. I mean, you can't, Maybelline, Since I Met You, Baby. Uh, Such a Night, Elvis's song. He does a cover of that on here, and it's really good. So if you guys ever find this out and about, definitely pick it up. You're not going to be disappointed. 
Now I'm on the search for the rest of his collection. All right, so that was uh, $30 Thursday, my top five picks over the last four weeks. Um, you know, like I said, uh, leave me a comment on what you thought maybe my top five should have been or what, you know, you would have made the top five out of all the weeks that I've, uh, you know, posted these videos. And um, let's just have fun with this. It'll be cool. Now on to top five of 45 Friday. This one was a little bit harder. Because I got so many cool 45s, but um, some of them just had to go as just good pickups. And uh, these are definitely the top five, in my opinion, that I got. As far as condition, value, and just all around. Some of them almost like a grail for my collection. Not really a grail, but, you know, just I'm really glad that I got it in my collection. Uh, Number five, I'm a big fan of Elvis's son years. Uh, that's pretty much, I mean, I like Elvis's 50s music. It's just, it's so overplayed on the, you know, if somebody plays Elvis on the radio, it's either, you know, one of the staples from the 50s or it's, you know, in the ghetto or Suspicious Minds. But um, I really love the sun stuff. And to have these red label um, gold standards, and my favorite sun out song is Good Rockin' Tonight. So definitely had to put this in my top five. But there's so many other good things that had to go last. So this is number five. Good Rockin' Tonight, and I don't care if the sun don't shine. Number four had to be my very mint copy of jerry lee on sun doing high school confidential back with fools like me this just plays amazing and it's an original copy and it's just beautiful and i can't say enough about it number three definitely had to be another mint 45 i mean this is crazily I mean, it's just unplayed, seriously. Uh, it's only make-believe by Conway Twitty with the original MGM sleeve backed with I'll Try. Uh, number two definitely was my pickup from last week, Frankie and Johnny's picture sleeve. I really, I'm really glad that I got this. I really love the back part of the picture sleeve, too. It's uh, it's not the normal, you know, they don't usually do this, but that's just really cool. And the vinyl is just, I'm, the picture sleeve is VG, VG plus, but the vinyl is VG plus to near mint minus, and it sounds just amazing. So that had to definitely hold my number two spot. And coming in at number one was my hymns by johnny cash ep which i did not know existed on columbia and it's the original maroon columbia label the older columbia label and once again this thing is just it's just beautiful mint condition i don't know that i'm sure these were played but not very much and uh Of course, you can't, I mean, that beautiful sleeve, no splits, not even really bad, no even, no, no bad edge wear, really. The worst thing about it is just a little discoloration there on the back, but such a great package. So that's it. That's my number one, volume three of Hymns by Johnny Cash on Columbia. Just to recap. Um, and once again, leave me a comment down below. Let me, let me know what you think. I mean, I know there's a bunch I left out, you know, my, my original Dell Shannon, uh, runaway on big top. That was a big one, but I just thought those others deserved to be ahead of the line. Um, 
but you know if there's something you disagree with uh man let me know i would love to hear it i would love to hear your opinion um ed don't don't hate on any of the open stuff no 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 just kidding just kidding so hey i would like to know ed if you're watching this which you probably are hopefully has any of the wonder of you like hit you yet because I gotta be honest with you, man. I love the whole CD. I I know Jordan's planning on doing a review of it. I'm definitely going to do a review of it. I'm going to wait to do my review though until December because I, I ordered the uh, box set. It's got a 16-page booklet of fold-out poster and two record set and a two CD set. So uh, I just had to get that. I just. I don't know, getting back into this final thing, I kind of felt that I really wanted one of the cool things, you know, instead of just going out and buying the CD, which I'm going to do that too because I want it to where I can listen to it in the car. But, you know, I just wanted to get, you know, something that, you know, is going to be rare one of these days, so I had to buy the box set. But I love it. I love every song on it. Unlike If I Can Dream, which I didn't love every song. I loved everything, but pretty much... That Michael Buble crap with Fever and um, Steamroller Blues. I just never understood that. Really, it's like that song shouldn't have been there. But oh well. Hey, I'm not Sony Legacy. They they know more than I do apparently. Um, hit the like button if you haven't subscribed yet. Please do. And uh, if you have a comment, leave it below. Keep rocking, everybody. Bye.